Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. We are currently in Berlin and we've had such an amazing time here. It's our third day and we've been staying in a neighborhood called Mehde and it's so beautiful and we've been walking around and exploring that area. But today we wanted to explore a new area called Kreuzberg. I didn't study German in high school, I did Spanish. So I don't know anything in German, unfortunately, but Kreuzberg, we had to Google how to pronounce that. So let's get going. We have arrived safely in Kreuzberg. The scooter ride was okay. It took about 20 minutes. And we have arrived at a breakfast spot called Annelies. They apparently have the best pancakes in Berlin. We just ordered some lemonade and pancakes and breakfast burger. And we are so excited. The food has arrived and it looks incredible. Oh my god. I feel like this is like out of Simpsons or something. <laughs> what is going on? So the breakfast was really good, especially the pancakes. Oh my god, you should come to this place if you're craving some big fluffy pancakes. Mm -hmm. And the breakfast burger was a really funny concept, but I really liked it. It was somehow a burger, but still like a breakfast thing. So yeah. they this nailed that. It was kind of interesting. So yeah, but I preferred the pancakes. They were so yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. I think we're just gonna have a walk around here since we've never been here before and I just wanted to show you guys our outfits Helge is wearing his new jorts that he thrifted yesterday really like them, really yeah. like them they're really cool and I also thrifted this top recently in Sweden We are on our way to go to a store called Wu Store. I've seen it on Instagram and they have so many cool things. It's interesting to see like the differences between the neighborhoods because yeah, there's definitely a different vibe here. By the way, the weather is insane. It's so warm. We looked at the weather forecast and it was supposed to be cloudy. But then when we like got out, it was like walking on a wall, like poof, so hot. But I mean, I love it, but it's a little bit like, whew, I'm a little bit sweaty. <laughs> but thankfully we wore pretty light clothes. I even brought my blazer because I thought it was going to be a bit cold, <laughs> but I'm not going to use that one. Feel fresher than toothpaste. Singing out, this be the new thing. New swing set. I'ma go for the loop, man. I'm a fruit gone loopy. That's the Sammy the toucan. Screaming out, who cares? My soul bear, I'm done with the cold stare. My heart hang off the tip of my shoestrings. They untied, that's usual. I'm not put together. Do better than you do. That's magic. I'm voodoo. You a dog playing drag. I found a couple of pieces that I'm gonna try on. These two pieces are from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this set is from Paloma Wool. So I'm gonna try them on. They say it seem a tall task with no cape and no cash and it broke up, no breaks and no stakes involved in the state of the world state. It's all lost, so we challenge. So the Wu store was super cool and they had so many nice things. We actually saw Peggy Goo in the store. She was shopping. She is like a DJ or an artist, if you know her. It was just pretty cool to see her there. We didn't buy anything because it was quite expensive. It was more pleasing the eye just looking through all of these beautiful clothes. <laughs> We are on an ice cream hunt. We're trying to figure out where we can get some really good ice cream. And I had saved a place. It's called Chunks by Koro. So we are gonna go and see if they have some good options.
We took the scooters for about 15 minutes because we wanted to visit the East Side Gallery, which is a graffiti project that was made a year after the Berlin Wall fell. It sounds really interesting and we're gonna check it out. It's located right beside the sea and people are like sitting here just having a nice time and there's a beautiful sunset and the vibes are just super lovely here. <laughs> We just walked over the Oberbaumbrücke. <laughs> I actually just googled how to pronounce it. It was so beautiful and the sunset is like insanely pretty. We are gonna go and grab burgers at a place called Burgermeister. And uh, there were a lot of you guys that recommended this place. It kind of reminds me of a gasoline grill in Copenhagen. So yeah, we're gonna grab some burger and then we are gonna go and eat it right by the water and enjoy the sunset. Okay, so we just paid and we're kind of in shock because we only paid 16 euros for a meal of two, which is like almost just as a one single burger in Copenhagen. So yeah, that's crazy. Good morning, it's our last day in Berlin and we've had such an amazing time here. We were very lucky with the weather, it's been like so warm and so nice. And we just woke up, it's quite early because we wanted to be able to enjoy the day to the fullest because we are leaving to Prague at five. But we just got dressed and we are gonna start packing so we are you know ready we're gonna leave our luggage in this airbnb and then we are gonna go and explore the city for the last time i'm gonna do my makeup we are trying to figure out how we should do like with food and everything when we're interrailing because if we are gonna be dining out every single day it's gonna be very expensive but of course I want to try as many restaurants and everything also to show you guys and it's of course super nice but I think we are gonna try and also just go to the supermarket and buy some yogurt and some fruits and stuff so it's not gonna be too expensive but we have one plan for the day and that is to go to a bakery it's called Zeit für Brot and it means it's time for bread apparently we were just googling it so many of you guys wrote to me that I should try the cinnamon buns in this bakery so we are very very excited we walked past it like the day before yesterday and somebody was eating the cinnamon buns and it looked incredible so yeah that is on our plan today because i'm very excited to try those cinnamon buns we are on our way to go to the supermarket to buy some breakfast and i thought i'd show you our outfits Guys, we are so jealous that people get to like grocery shop in stores like these. Like there is everything available here. I don't want to be a complainer, but it's just annoying that when you go grocery shopping in Denmark, you can't find everything that you need. You need to go to at least two or three supermarkets to be able to buy everything that you need. Sometimes they don't have like coriander or like cilantro or they don't have peanut butter or they don't have, I don't know, like necessities that you would think that should be available at the supermarket. And I know that I'm being annoying, but I just wish I could shop in one of these. 
we found some yogurt and now we're trying to pick some granola. It was super nice to eat the breakfast in the garden. I think we will definitely be going to the supermarket more often now because it is quite nice and it's way cheaper. And we definitely want to save some money. <laughs> we are walking towards a neighborhood. It's called Helmholtz Kiez. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to practice my German. <laughs> It's a super cute neighborhood and we actually met a girl that's subscribing to me on YouTube and she was so nice and she was helping us out if we wanted to find some you know nice spots here in Berlin and she told us to visit a neighborhood called Neukölln and we are a little bit sad because we won't be able to go and see that area because we are leaving in a couple of hours and it's so far away it takes about like 30 minutes to take the transportation there we should have gone there yesterday but we just didn't really realize that we should visit that area but i guess we have a place to check out next time we will visit berlin We just walked past this really cool sneaker store called Sneakers and Stuff and it looked really good from the outside so we're gonna check it out and I've been looking for some sneakers because I only brought my Birkenstocks to the trip so I really need to mix it up and have some other shoes or sneakers or something so yeah, let's go check it out. Helgi bought some new Hoka's and they are so cool. It's actually like hiking shoes and they fit it so nicely. I think they are gonna look really cool with his outfits while we are interrailing. Now we have arrived to Site for Brut and we are gonna have the cinnamon bun that we have been talking about and also some iced latte. I am so thirsty. Okay guys, moment of true. We got like two buns for one price because it was like the rest of this one and they can't sell it apparently. So he was like, you'll have two. So that's so nice. And then we have a pretzel or a bretzel. I think they call it bretzel here in uh, Germany. And we are so, so excited to try the cinnamon bun. Oh my. It's so soft and fluffy. Mm. Well, our time in Berlin has come to an end. We are about to head to the train station to catch a train to Prague. And we are very excited. Mm -hmm. We've never been to Prague before and we've heard many good things about it. But we really enjoyed our time here in Berlin. It's definitely a very interesting and fascinating city. It has a lot to offer. There are so many cool restaurants and bakeries and cool stores and everything and we just really liked the vibe here. I feel like the city is like a European New York, but also with a little bit of Parisian, but still also a little bit Scandinavian. It's honestly so cool. It's very different and we had like a blast. So thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in Prague.